So today we got some exciting things going on. First of all, we're gonna go out and see a whole bunch of places to eat at that we highly recommend. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give away up to $200 worth of gifts. Wait and you see what that giveaway is gonna be. It'll be worth registering for. So hi, I'm Bob. I'm Tim. We're gonna go out and check out some restaurants that we've been eating at all week long. Not all of them at once, but throughout the week I've been collecting videos and today we kind of went through a couple of them that we forgot the videotape and we're gonna tell you a little bit about them. So it's a wide variety of restaurants and they are all family owned. So none of them are Big franchise, no, you know, without no McDonald's or... Olive Garden, Applebee's, Chili's, yeah, none, none of, of that crap. <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how you can get something for free. We've got a new giveaway that could be as much as a $200 value for your motorcycle. So stay tuned to the end to find out what that giveaway is going to be. So don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and ring that bell and don't forget to enter. So today we're gonna to start out doing some food. So the first place we're stopping at is Pat's Kitchen. You need to Google it to find it. When you're coming down the road, you'll see a little, looks like a for sale sign, yard sale sign. Say you make a left there, Go to the end of the street, and it's there on your left. It's right past Seven Seas Marina, where you have to turn. So hopefully you can hear this. We'll try to redo it in case it didn't turn out. <laughs> Scrambled egg and grits. So we're doing restaurants. Here's a bar restaurant that we ate back in October with some of our YouTube subscribers and had a good time. Yep, had a good time out here with them. So we wanted to come back and just kind of add this to our list of places to eat. If you're coming out to the lighthouse, it's right across the street from the lighthouse. So let's go check it out. It's called Hidden Treasures Rum Bar and mm. Grill. Sounds good. Let's go see. I'll take a quick look inside. We're gonna show you the food because you gotta go back and find that video in October and you can see all about what we ate here. What's his name? Joey. Joey. What kind of bird is he? Oh, buddy. He smacked that one with your wings. He's normally a pro at it. He likes that shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know that. So today we're checking out a restaurant on A1A right here in Daytona. It's Steve's Diner. You know, we came in here, it was pretty early. I don't know, what time is it now? Uh, it was a little before five. I don't know, my watch quit working. All right. So we came in here around 4.30 this afternoon. There was like four or five people in there. When we just walked out, it's there was packed. like four tables still open. So it's probably a pretty good place to eat. Uh, probably have to come back maybe for breakfast. Looks like that's their specialty, chicken and waffles they got. So it's pretty good. They give you a lot and a lot, a lot of food to eat. So check it out. Who's our waitress? Erica. Erica, she's gonna be here every single day. Open the clothes. Ask for her, tell her Bob and Tam. Tell them that Bob and Tam's Excellent Adventures sent you here for your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Cause it was pretty good. And I'm stuffed. Yep, I ate way too much too. So, wouldn't be bad if you're not too hungry, maybe split a meal. Because you get soup and bread, homemade bread, oh, and good. all that food to eat. Way too much for us to eat. So, they had pies too. I wanted a piece of pie, but no room for pie. <laughs> so, check it out. Let them know we were here. And we'll see you at the next review. Let's go. How are you? Fine. Yeah. What is your soup yeah. tonight? We have split. We have a YouTube channel, so we do. <laughs> we do. Yes. Okay. 
We found another great place here in Daytona to eat. Right here on the A1A. It is Hog Heaven Real Pit Barbecue. Hog Heaven Real Pit Barbecue. And it was, how good was it? It was really good. <laughs> yes, it was good. We actually forgot to film it and she wanted to film the empty plates because there was a nothing left on the plate. So if you want real good barbecue, here's the first barbecue place we found that you just got to eat. And also, they have free parking. So you can pull down here with that bike or car or however you came, park in their parking lot. Won't cost you a dime. But you can't leave it because I'll tow you away. We found another place to eat. It was okay. It wasn't the greatest. But it was pretty good. Edible. <laughs> So we found another place along here for you to check out. It's on the A1A in Daytona Beach. It is Captain's... It's Captain's Pizza and Grill. Wasn't too bad. They sell pizza by the slice. I got spaghetti with meat sauce. It was okay. And you had a salad with... Greek salad. Yep. It was pretty good. So we'll give it a, all right. And it wasn't too expensive. Cheaper, a little bit. You can either eat inside or outside. If you're staying in the hotels, they also do delivery. That's a good thing to know. All right, we're having my normal specialty that I have all the time, which is a hamburger and ketchup. You got pretty fat ones. I don't know, it's a quarter pound or whatever. And what the heck is that mess? <laughs> it's a deep fried hot dog with mac and cheese. Mm. She's, you can tell she's not on the diet right now. <laughs> It's getting too hard. Here's another one of our restaurants that we're recommending. Actually, it's a pub. It's Peanut and George's Main Street Pub. We pub ate, on Main. We ate here the other day. Food was really good, great service, and the prices are extraordinary. You know, we got an interview with her, and it's going to come up right now. My name is Leah Murphy. I'm the owner of Peanut and George's Pub on Main Street. We're actually just a small place. We actually are the only place on Main Street that serves breakfast. So we do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we have entertainment during the events uh, weekly. We have JRKJ. Um, we also can run a little bit of karaoke if people want to sit down and sing and have a good meal and party. Titties at ten. You know, we're ready for we're ready for a party. Our hours are 9 a.m. till probably around one in the morning. Welcome to Daytona, the famous beach. Alexa, come down to Peanut and George's on Main Street. We are open every single day at 9 a.m. We serve breakfast until 11.30 and lunch all the rest of the day. Cheap drinks too. So we had that lunch here the other day and it was really good. Who's our waitress? Connie, ask for Connie. And we do highly recommend this place. It's great on Main Street, really good service and the prices aren't bad. And it's locally owned, nothing wrong with that either. Yep. The owners cook the food. Let's see what else we can find for places that we recommend. So here it is. We're going to switch over right now to Adam. And he's going to tell you all about our giveaway that we're going to have. It'll be worth getting. So don't forget to enter. Hey guys, Amzel Adam here. I'm with Extreme Bikes. And we do Amzel synthetic oil changes here. And we've got a special giveaway just for Bob and Tam uh, subscribers. So this is what we're going to do for you. So we're going to give away a free service, an oil change, no matter what kind of bike you're riding, within reason, of course, as long as we've got the products for it, you get a free oil change. It could be up to $199 value. If you're on a Harley, that's including your engine oil, your transmissional and your primary oil, plus your choice of a chrome or black filter. If you're on a Honda Goldwing, that's going to be your engine transmission oil combination with a filter, and we'll even do the final drive for you. And if they're getting another bike they haven't mentioned there, we're going to make sure we take care of whatever services it is that you need to get you properly lubricated and down the road. The drawing is going to be sometime this week. And if you're not here to do the oil change, what we're going to do is get your information and we will mail you out the oil change kit so you can either do it yourself or take it to your favorite local shop and have them do it for you. Either way, we're going to get you the best product you can possibly have put in your motorcycle. All right, everyone, so we're located at the Daytona International Speedway here in Daytona Beach, right out front of the Advent Health Gate. Um, we're going to be here all week long from March 5th all the way up until, I believe, the 14th is our last day of sales, whatever that Saturday is. 
We're going to be open from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. and it's right off International Speedway so access here is very very easy. They let all the motorcycles pull right in. You can pull right up to the booth. We'll get you taken care of. Uh, we also sell the Love Jugs cooling systems to keep the Harleys from overheating and truth is that combination between the Amsoil and the Love Jugs together really makes your bike virtually indestructible. We have a motorcycle here on display that you can see running all day long from open to close and it never overheats. And it's been doing that for, this is year number five that that motorcycle's been doing it. Over six, probably even 7,000 hours of idle time now without any failures. It's just pretty amazing. So if you want to see some more of the antics that we go through here as uh, Bike Week vendors, you can check out my channel. It's Amzol Adam. We have a bunch of different fastest that we do on there and it's a relatively new channel. We're looking for subscribers. So if you would subscribe and watch that as well, you're going to get a lot of motorcycle content just like you would get with Bob and Tam. You know, that was pretty slick by Adam. You know, some of the things that we just want to make sure we mention is this contest, this drawing is going to go from... It's going to go, we're going to start on the 4th of March and we're going to end it on the 10th. We'll say who the winner is on the 10th. That way, if you're down here in Daytona and you want to get that oil change here in Daytona before you head home, you'll be able to do it. And if you happen to win and you're not down here, Adam will get that DIY kit sent out to you. And you have to be in the 48 states. Sorry, Alaska and Hawaii. Sorry, our Canadians, our Australians, and all of our international Taiwan. friends. Yeah, and all of them. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you'll be here for the bike. Maybe next year he'll give one away and you Canadians can come on down and check that all out. That would be nice. Yeah. So make sure you remember that. So if you're here, that's going to be great. But remember, we're working now off of East Coast time. So it's going to end on the 10th at 12 noon on Eastern time. So and how you subscribe to, or how you enter to win is leave a comment on this video. Say, I want to win oil change. Yep. And we'll get, that'll get you entered into the con, the contest. And then when we come back, you'll need to respond really quick so we can get back and get you here set up with Adam to make sure you can come in here and get the oil change, to make sure you got a good time to get you in. And if we're going to send it to you, he needs to get that information so he can send that packet out. And then we'll need to know what kind of motorcycle you got so he can give you all that good stuff. That's right. So we got to get neat. the right oil filter for the right bike. So we're going to go ahead and wrap our video up right here at the International Speedway. Yep, so don't forget to enter to win and subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. And if you're looking for Adam's channel down there in the... People always never know when to do it. If you look over here on this little corner over here, there's a little triangle. She calls it a hat. But if you click on that, that opens all that stuff up that we tell you all the time to look down there. I have a lot of people that say they hit the screen, they touch in the button, and it don't work. I think that was my sister. <laughs> Probably. Sorry, and, Joyce. <laughs> and it didn't work. And I just had another guy the other day, I had to show him on his phone where that was at because he, he was like, where do you guys stay? Always down here. He's like, I don't see nothing there. So we're letting you know that's where it's at. So check Adam out, and uh, we'll go from there. See you in the next video. Good luck. So it's Wednesday around noontime. We are on Main Street in Daytona. I'm gonna check it out, show you some of the vendors are showing up. We're gonna end this up today, letting you see all the vendors that are showing up. Main Street will not open until Friday. Hey, you want a Budweiser? Hey, probably want a, probably want a coffee. Bye.